Hello, just a quick introduction and then I'll uh, talk you through the code. Hello everybody, so this is going to be a bit of an update on writing code to extract uh, comments, video descriptions, etc. Well, in fact, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm collecting, so far, I'm collecting these from YouTube. So, given a YouTube channel ID, um, my code will then go through and collect these bits of metadata. Um, title, ID, and description, I've done that previously on a previous project. Uh, here, however, I had to collect publish date, text, likes, dislikes, comment author. Um, so I actually had to use a separate YouTube, um, they call them resources. So for the comments, I've been dealing with YouTube.comment threads. For the videos, I was using playlist, YouTube.playlist items. So just be aware of that. You won't be extracting the data from uh, the same resource or the the same uh, JSON file, if that's what you're going to use. The structure of the comments and the videos is actually one large uh, one large JSON file. It takes a little bit of understanding. They use things called uh, snippets, and then inside the snippet, you have to pick out the title resource ID and so on. So I'm actually saving um, using some of the reusing some code from the video descriptions which uh, will save to a JSON file. The new code I've written to save the comments to a CSV and eventually that will be where everything gets outputted to. So um, as you can see I've created a class which um, there will just be one instance of the class when it runs and if we scroll to the bottom now we see so create the instantiate the class um, make YouTube creates a YouTube object and then once we've got that it will then be used to extract the video data um, I then save all the descriptions and then request comments um, creates a YouTube.comments thread um, object and then it will then get all of the video um, it will get all of the comments text original publish that author display name like count that's pro that's what I've done so far and then it will eventually be output to CSV so if you want to just see it in action let's go so um, here we go right so let's run the code and see what happens that looks pretty good to me so if we just click on show output new tab here we go so YouTube comments get channel videos so that looks pretty good it's gone off and got the videos I think that's about the right number you can see here the video ID each time the comments obviously vary quite a lot in um, length each time and now we can see I've also got not only have I got the video name the video ID the video description so those three bits I've also then gone off and extracted 
Um, based on that video ID, I then iterate through all of the collected video IDs and extract all of the uh, metadata for the comments for those videos, if that makes sense. So that's a bit of an update. I hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing, um, here we go, results per page, total results 20. Um, this is still a work in progress. You can download the code, which is obviously working. It's working at the moment because it's printing to the screen. The next thing I have to fix is to export it to a CSV file. But um, to all intents and purposes, it's working code. If you want to use this, you're more than welcome. And it's probably going to save you a lot of time if you want to do something similar, sim uh, similar yourself. And um, yeah, uh, I'll just quickly show you. Before we go, I'll just show you. So we've created a JSON file as well. So that is the JSON file that contains all of the video information. So the video ID, the video title, the video description, and that's what then gets cross-referenced with the video ID. That gets cross-referenced with the comments because, as I mentioned before, we're collecting data from two separate places. The two separate places being um, the YouTube object called channels, sorry, YouTube object called playlist items, which is basically the videos. And we're also collecting information from the comment threads object. So the threads and the videos, and then we're tying them together. So if that makes sense, I'm, uh, I've done my job. If it doesn't, then please contact me and um, have a look at the code on GitHub. Try it yourself. And I'll be back soon with the finished version.